Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, let's make something cute and custom. Y'all stay tuned. Weren't these adorable? Yes, they were. And they are just so cute that I got so many requests asking if I could do something similar for the baby skinnies. And you know what, guys? Yes, I can. And I'll bring them in so that you can see. I made these two, and on the inside, I've got two of the skinnies, and they fit inside of these boxes perfectly and I know some of you had said that you wanted to make up a whole bunch and give them out to individual people well instead of making a bag if you don't want to give them a bag presenting this in a box is gorgeous or if you wanted to present your box in a bag check this out look at that fill this with some shredded paper or put two on the inside and my goodness isn't that special so I am going to show you guys exactly how we make these wonderful little boxes and you're going to be amazed at how easy it is. So let's get started. And the paper that I'm using for this project is from the Seasons Greetings paper pad by the Paper Studio and it's sold at Hobby Lobby. And I believe that they have it in stock and if they don't have it in stock, it seems to be one of those papers that they bring back. And it has some wonderful, wonderful prints in it. So to make our box, we are going to start with a piece that measures 12 by 4 and 3 quarters. And on the 4 and 3 quarters side, we are going to score this at 5 eighths. And then we'll turn it to the opposite 4 and 3 quarters side and we'll score it at 5 eighths. And then we'll turn it to the 12 inch side and we're going to score this at 5 eighths five and three eighths at six at ten and three quarters and at eleven and three eighths and then we'll fold and burnish our scores Okay, so then I'll bring in my finger blade and what we'll need to do is on this end we have one panel and here we have two panels. This is where we want to start working. So I'm going to turn this towards me and then I will cut my tabs in the direction of me. And then I'm going to angle cut these tabs. And then I'll take this section right here and I'm going to place glue on it. And then I'm going to fold this in just like this. And I'm gonna come back and give this just a really tight crease because I don't want anything coming up. So this is how it's going to look. And this is the side where we're going to place our acetate window. So I have a template here and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I have a template here that measures one and a half by three. And I'm going to do it on this side because I want to make sure that where I'm placing it is underneath this section here. So I am going to place some glue on this. I will get this stuck down. Try to get it in the middle. Then I'll come back with my bone folder and I'm just gonna get that glue worked in. And now I'll come back with my finger blade and all I'm going to do is cut this out. And there, we've got that cut out. And then I'll come back with a piece of acetate and my acetate measures two and a half by four 
And what I'm going to do is place my glue around the window. And then I'll come back with my piece of acetate and I am going to place this down just like that. And I'm going to slide it down a little bit because I'm going to make sure it's out of the way of the flap. And because I slid it down so much, I've gotten some glue on the acetate, but that's okay. So I'm going to take my bone folder and go up, pushing the glue away from the acetate. And you can see just a little bit right there, but I can come back with my paper towel and just clean that up. It is just so pretty. So now what I'm going to do is we need to go ahead and cut out the rest of our box. So right here in the middle, we've got two tabs and we just want to cut those out. And I am going to do an angle cut in on these. And I'll turn it around this way. And I'm gonna do the same thing So now we have this, kind of looks like a cat almost. So with our cat facing this way, we are going to come back down to this end where we've got the double panels and we're going to go up to the second score mark, cut down and remove these panels all together. And then we'll come back and we're just going to notch in a little bit on that bottom panel. We're just going to angle in and we're doing this so that if you don't happen to have a corner rounder, this gives you an angled edge so that when you fold it in, it'll fold in nice and easy. So now we get to put this together. So this is the front of our box. This is the piece that we'll put in last. So when we start gluing the box together, we're going to glue up from this side and you'll glue up with your double panels. So I'm going to place my glue right here on this tab. I'm going to pick this up, come in and get it matched up on the bottom. And I can tell that it's matched up because when I run my finger along the bottom, I don't feel any of the edges. And then I'll come back with my bone folder and just smooth that down. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to place my reptile glue right here and then I will take my piece here and I'm going to just check that to make sure I've got it nice and flush at the bottom. Then I'll come back on the inside with my bone folder and let's get this stuck down. All right, so now we've got this and I can take this and close it up just like that and I'll be gluing these sides. So I'm going to take my glue, bring it all the way up but not up to the folding flap. I'm going to bring my glue up to the score mark and just pull this up and get this stuck. And I'll make sure that it's nice and even. And if it's not, I'll lift it up and get it stuck down. So I want it to be even at the top. And you can see how I did not place any glue on this because this folds in. So I'll come back with my bone folder. Let's get this nice and smooth. And I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll fold this flap back so you guys will have a good look at what I'm doing. And I'll take my glue. I'm gonna go along the edge. And then I'll fill in the middle. And I'm going to take this, bring it over, make sure my top is even, and then I'll lay it down. And it really is as easy as you guys just saw me do it. It does not take any special skill to do this, guys. You can do this. You can make these. You can make ton of these because you know what? You got this. So we have got our box. So let's take one of our little skinnies and put it on the inside just like that and we'll close this box just like that.
we have got a box. So simple, so cute, just so easy. So we're gonna decorate just ever so lightly, but it'll just make a world of difference. So I have this beautiful, beautiful 3D wreath from Anna Griffin, and I am going to take just a little bit of my reptile glue and place it on the back. And I'm going to take this wreath and I'm going to place it right there. So just a little bit of it actually covers the window. And then I have a nice bow that I am going to take and tuck right in the middle. Don't you guys think that is so cute? So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back. I am going to take this, put it right here in the middle and we have got the festiveness of Christmas. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I love making small things like this because it's so quick and it's so easy, but what a statement this makes. And I'm going to bring in the other two so that you can see just how nice these are. They are just so super cute so easy to make and they elevate whatever's inside of them guys I'm gonna keep saying it I know I said I'm gonna keep saying it and I am presentation makes such a difference this could have a deck of cards in it and it would be gorgeous because the packaging is gorgeous and remember presentation 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 so I hope that you have liked this video and if you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.